your first step will be to enable course completion tracking. On your course homepage, click the Actions menu button at the top and then select Edit Settings from the drop down list. Scroll down the settings page that opens and expand the Completion Tracking section. Then, use the drop down menu to the right of the Enable Completion Tracking option to select Yes. Finally, click the Save and Display button at the bottom of the page to apply your changes. Completion tracking has now been enabled, allowing you to apply completion requirements to any individual activity and track your students' progress. Your next step will be to determine which course activities you would like to track for completion and specify the requirements that students must meet in order to complete the tracked items. You have two options for applying activity completion conditions to course items. These options include doing so within each individual item's settings or using the Course Completion Settings page. Your most efficient option is the Course Completion page. To get here, click on the Actions menu at the top of your course page and select Course Completion from the drop-down menu. When the page loads, start by setting your preferred completion tracking defaults to use throughout the course under the Default Activity Completion tab. This will help you save time later by pre-filling the activity completion settings for any new activity type you create. For example, to set completion tracking defaults for my quizzes, I can scroll down and select the checkbox to the left of Quizzes then continue down the page and click the Edit button to set my default completion tracking parameters for any new quiz I create. The Completion Tracking drop-down menu is used to determine how you want the item to be tracked for completion. Please note, completion tracking options will vary by resource or activity type. When using the Students Can Manually Mark the Activity as Completed approach, the onus is always placed on the student to indicate they have viewed or completed the item by manually checking a box to its right on the course page. Your second option for completion tracking is to show activity as complete when conditions are met. This approach allows you to specify the conditions that must be satisfied for the student to be considered as having completed the activity. If the course item is ungradable, such as a PDF, PowerPoint file, or external URL, your option for tracking completion is limited to Require View. As indicated, this means your student will be tracked as completing the item immediately upon opening it. If the course item is gradable, you may require that students must receive a grade to reflect as having completed the assignment. To do so, Click the checkbox to the right of the Require Grade option to ensure students must receive a grade to complete this activity. In addition, you may use the Require Passing Grade checkboxes to mandate that the student must achieve a passing grade set within the grade section of the activity settings page or that they exhaust all available attempts allowed. If you wish to require that students must complete the activity by a certain date and time, click the Enable checkbox next to the Expect Completed On field and select your desired timing. The expected completion date functions as a soft deadline, as the due date will reflect on the student's calendar without preventing them from completing the assignment after or prior to the expected completion date. When satisfied with your adjustments to the activity's completion tracking defaults, click the Save Changes button to apply your preferences and continue setting other items' default completion settings as needed. You may also access and use the Bulk Edit Activity Completion tab on this page to concurrently select one or more targeted course activities for which to bulk adjust the completion tracking requirements. For example, I only want to ensure every student has taken their first two quiz assignments by September 1st. 
I will be applying hard deadlines to all subsequent quizzes, but I'd like to give my students a little more flexibility at the start, provided they complete the quizzes before my September 1st deadline. You may also set completion requirements for an individual item at any time within its settings. To do so, navigate to the location of the course item for which you wish to apply activity tracking. Once you are on the page where it is located, turn on the Course Edit Mode using the button at the top of the page. After the page refreshes, scroll to the item as needed, click the Edit menu to its right, and select Edit Settings from the resulting drop-down menu. On the Items Settings page, scroll down to and expand the Activity Completion section. After adjusting the Activity Completion settings as needed, click Save and Return to Course at the bottom of the page. When Activity Completion Tracking has been applied, the course section or topic hosting the item being tracked will display a completion meter revealing the student's progress in completing the items being tracked within the given section. Please note, the meter displayed on the sections within your course will reflect your individual progress and not that of your students. Within the topic itself, students will find a new column to the right named Your Progress and checkboxes below, revealing their completion status for the items. A solid checkbox denotes the item is manually tracked for completion, and a checkered or dotted checkbox indicates the item is automatically tracked for completion. For a detailed report on students' progress, you may refer to the Course Activity Completion Report. This report is accessed from the course homepage, where you can click the Actions menu and then select the More option. Under the Course Administration tab that opens, find the Report section and click the last option of Activity Completion. The Course Activity Report will open, presenting a comprehensive report of all course items that are tracked for completion and each student's status against the respective requirements. The report presents the students' names and email addresses vertically on the left and displays the course item names that are being tracked for completion horizontally across the top. Together, these form a grid which you can use to track whether an activity has been completed by the individual student. You may filter the report to individual students based on the first letters of their last or first names. As students complete tracked activities in the course, their respective checkboxes will be populated to reflect the activity's completion status. As an instructor, you may manually override any item's completion status for a student by clicking in the desired checkbox. This can be useful if you want to help students with their course progress by checking off items they have yet to address, or if you need to indicate that the student must redo a task they had previously completed. Please note, Overriding a student's completion status will not automatically grant them a subsequent attempt on their assignment or quiz. This must be done manually. Any overridden item will display with a red box indicating it has been manually updated. You may also download this report at any time by selecting the file format of your preference.